Welcome to a very special episode of Trashy Divorces. Hello, fellow quarantinos. I'm Alicia. I'm Stacy. Hey, everybody. We're so excited to have you back <laughs> for another week that really isn't technically a divorce story. We have some news and updates and some exciting stuff coming up. So we wanted just to send a little message with a few things. We're just checking in with you. Checking in. Yeah. This is technically our off week. Yeah. So we've been very busy inside the confines of our own home. Probably many of you have as well. We had a lot of people reach out. We have some pronunciation angels in the world from mm. last week. And and most weeks, honestly, we have pronunciation angels to help us. I think people have mostly given up on me. <laughs> uh, this week it was you, which was an interesting twist. Mm. Would you like to do a quick pronunciation? I would like to issue my sincere apologies to the residents of Mahia, Texas, childhood briefly childhood home of teenage home of Anna Nicole Smith home of the chicken shack which I believe I called Mexia which was not correct it's not it is Mejia and we have been honestly some of what's come in to correct us has been delightful so thank you for all of that Mejia sorry (laughs) in my quarantine uh, time yesterday Mm. I spent 45 minutes working on the pronunciation of uh-huh. the divisions of sections in Paris, Paris yeah, called arrondissement. Arrondissement. Sure. I'm pretty close. I, I'm going to have this perfected and our French listeners will weep with joy over my pronunciation of arrondissement. It is my life experience <laughs> that it is actually impossible for a native English speaker to properly pronounce French words, and that at the very best, our French listeners will appreciate our effort. <laughs> we like your wine <laughs> We'd love and your it. croissant Woo. and your butter. Everything, really. It Really good. Everything, really. Good stuff, France. We're, we're big Francophiles over here, as well as Anglophiles, as well as, is there such a thing as a Dutchophile? Probably. I'm totally a Dutchophile. We like our koala files, our Australian mm. listeners. We like our Canadian listeners. We have prizes for everybody coming up this week to all of you, wherever you are. North America, Australia, England, the Netherlands, Canada, Ireland. New oh, Zealand. Ireland. We had an Irish listener reach out to us this week, and I've been uh, relooping Dairy Girls, and it really <sighs> is just the most delightful show. <laughs> Wherever you are. Basically, we would like to be anywhere but where we are, but we're all trapped for a while, so (laughs) we dream. From us to you, thank you, everybody, for doing the hard work. These are interesting times that we are living in. Whether you are an essential worker and you are going to kick ass every day in what you're doing, or you're doing the essential work of staying at home saving lives. We see you. We recognize you. Thank you so much for your calls and your emails and being awesome. We are doing what we are able to from here to provide some fun and some levity. We had a fun week on Patreon. We're going to talk about some more free stuff that y'all can get out there as well. But we see you and thank you for being awesome and being you. So shout out to our neighbors. I don't know if this is true everywhere in the world, but In our community and in parts of the U.S., there's a shortage of flour and yeast because people were like, well, if I'm going to be trapped at home for a while, stuck at home, maybe trapped is not the right word. If I'm going to be at home for a while, maybe I'm going to pick up baking. Maybe I'm going to bake some bread. Anyway, so anyway, it's hard to find flour uh, lately. I did bake some bread with my little sourdough starter because I'm a nerd like that. Um, And one of our neighbors had mentioned that she missed bread I guess maybe that's hard to find on the store shelf. We too. hooked her up. We took her some bread. She brought back the bag of flour from her pantry. <laughs> she would like more bread, she please. She would like more bread, please. She so, would like more bread. Your um, sourdough bread game is really developing it's, well, it's getting, It's getting there. It's good. It's good. It's good. Progress is happening with me and the, and the microbes. Anyway, just, uh, you know, shout out for these ways that community happens under duress is... Uh, they're good. People always find a way to connect. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we love you for connecting with us. And we are overwhelmed and 
Everybody blown is. away and thrilled and delighted that you connect with us and, and thank you for that. That is the truth. I have more thank yous. Do tell. Thank you for all of y'all who filled out our survey. Oh, right, right. For those wonderful advertisers who would like to let us pay our power bill. Sure. You're our heroes. Thank you so much. You can find that link on Mm TrashyDivorces.com under the survey link. But we had a number of you go out and fill that out. And uh, it... Yeah, so this Thank goes so much. this goes to our host and our host actually was like, Wow, you guys had a big uptick there. What just happened? So uh yeah, thank you so much. So we got to feel a little feel a little braggy. Very special. We have a, we have the best audience in the world. We really kind of what have we the best said. Audience so. in the world. I want to give a shout out to potentially some new trash pandas in mm-hmm. our audience. We made a list. We made a list, y'all. No one was more astounded than us when Town and Country indeed published their. These are the podcasts you should be listening to. Yeah, there list. was like big podcasts on that too. I was like, we're just a little. That's just us and yeah, the, trashy divorces. There were the, tears. There the was a daily dance. reply all. I mean, it was, it was really exciting. Yeah. So welcome, new trash pandas. If you have found us from Town and Country, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Team Trash Candy. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. So. What else has been going on this week? Uh, you have decided to appoint the cat Inman as head of HR. I'm Inman just is, calling him a snitch baby. Inman is the head of HR. Yes, our little black cat is the head of HR. He literally just, if you come near me or if I come near you, he races over because he can't, like, we, he. Leave room for Jesus. Relies on community. He needs to be part of whatever is happening. He's a pain in the ass. He's is what bit. he is, and he's a snitch baby. We love him. Let's talk about Patreon, though, because... Oh, um, wow. This is huge. We have been putting up... Like, if you're a longtime listener, you know we've had a Patreon for most of the last year, and we've been, you know, putting a lot of stuff up there the whole time. So what we've been doing during the current unpleasantness is is bringing stuff out from behind the paywall and just letting, you know, like, there's a link, bit.ly slash trash candy quarantine. It'll be in the show notes. But if you need a few extra hours of stuff each week to... I don't know, zone out too. We're trying to fill that gap for you. And what happened with that? What Stacy is saying is there is a bunch of free trash candy mm-hmm. just laying on the sidewalk <laughs> over at the bit.ly slash trash candy quarantine link. Here's what is amazing. Hmm. 700 people in the world this week went and picked up their free trash candy yeah. just laying on the sidewalk. What's up there right now? Whew. I did a whole fun thing Ages ago, this expose on the Garden of Allah, which was amazing. Sure. Golden Age of Hollywood kind of stuff. Oh, it's so good. Um, I had a... We do bonus divorces on Patreon, and so we've got this uh, trashy Dominican divorce surprise where a woman learned, I don't know, 25 years into her marriage or something, that her husband had secretly divorced her a few months in, in the Dominican Republic, where they did not live. They were Americans. It was was a pretty weird... It was a pretty shady story. I have the... Mm. Uh, uh, Independence Day episode with queer versus the establishment in the uh, story of the Stonewall riots. Yes. Which was really fun. That was good. There's also the... um, Oh, you love this story. I do. The fake wedding idiots of the desert. Um, I'm just going to let you uncover the mystery there. I've (laughs) never heard anything quite like that. Nope. Trashy Tudor stuff is up. There's a primer on the Hundred Years War and War of the Roses. There's also the Mariah Reynolds, Alexander Hamilton side piece episode. Which, if you're a Hamilton fan, um, you know the primary version of the story. But when I was researching it, there's another version of the story that, I mean, history is mute on the truth there. It's really interesting. We also are putting our trashy tidbits up. So there's our trashy tidbits from last week and trashy tidbits from this week, which are a mishmash of all kinds of stuff that. We just pick up and put in one episode. What's coming up this week? I have some surprises for you. Yes. What is happening? This week, we are going to put out the first episode in oh, right. a lot of our series. Your Fun With Dunn series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dominic Dunn. So Fun With Dunn happened back last spring. The first episode is all about Frank Sinatra, believe it or not, which is kind of dishy. That's coming up. I want to make sure that both our Australian and English listeners are uh, 
being teased with their particular brand of trash candy. This week, you will hear the side piece story of Prince Charles's Australian mistress. Ah, Kanga. So it hits both countries. I remember that one. Going to put out the first episode of Ocean's Eleven from this past season as well. For our listeners from Kanata, which is one of my favorite Oprah Winfrey stories. Still, I love it. (laughs) Kanata, our Canadian listeners, I'm going to put up for you probably one of the most favorite stories I've ever done about the trashy divorce between Stephen Page and Ed Robertson from the Bare Naked Ladies. Right. I love that story. The trashy divorce of the Bare Naked Ladies. And so, again, all of that's going to, we um, refresh that content on Tuesdays. That content, when you hear this, is going to be up and ready to oh. go. We have been putting it out on Tuesdays. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just align it to that makes sense. the Sunday drop day this week. Because it's our off week, yeah. So you're going to have a bunch of new, totally free trash candy. Yeah. So again, um, you need to fill a little bit of time. Yeah. Just if you expand the show notes on your podcast player, you will see the link bit.ly slash trash candy quarantine. And we had some new people join us on Patreon this week. Quite a few. We have a huge, very glittery, but well sanitized <laughs> magic mirror to give some shout outs this week. Do you Sani- wanna, sanitized hourly. Do you want to Do you want to start? I will start us. Um, thank you so much, Sarah C., Lavana, Elise, Kathy M., Aries AF Robin. It's so good. <laughs> Kimberly D., Stella, Bernadette R, Kathy L, and Jacqueline S. Kylie H, Christy W, Kirsten F, Omara A, Kathleen D, Aaron S, and Helen S. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got a couple super supporters as well who upgraded. So exciting. We have one upgrade and one brand new super supporter. Awesome. Polly W, you are a hero. Delaney, also a hero. Love, love, love all of our Patreon audience. Y'all have heard a bunch of fun stuff that dropped this week because we're still doing a regularly scheduled Patreon content for all of our Patreon folks in addition to free trash candy. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do what we can, y'all. We don't have a lot, but we have an abundance of trash candy to share. Well, we do have some recommendations. Oh, yeah, we do. For other stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, And you're... (laughs) I mean, look, I know in your free time. A, a, I know a lot of you are home with young children right now. And so you do not have copious amounts of free time. Like we get that. However, maybe you just um, want to put on a headset and not listen to. So years ago, I read a book by an author named Geraldine Brooks called Year of Wonders, which is I mean, it's a fictional story about a real event in the plague of 1666 in English town. Again, this was before they knew about transmission and viruses and microbes and germs and whatever, but they quarantined themselves. Fascinating. It is a really fascinating book. I just downloaded the audiobook to re-listen to it. I don't know if you decide, like, it's a little too on the nose for a lot of people, I think, and that's cool. But if that's something you're into, like, join us on Facebook in our group and we'll do an informal book club something. I know you have uh, maybe less on the nose stuff, but more less emotionally fortifying. Stuff. I find because I am you and I are, are a, a little different, somewhat different. I am a extreme extrovert, which I, it's not a good idea to bring me into an office. I waste a lot of time. Cute shoes. Who brought cupcakes? Like I get way more done when I am sheltered in a way. So I have been spending. Most of my time in a very creative loop. I'm so excited focusing in on the future Patreon content that is coming to you beginning the week of April the 5th. There are some true spectacular trash candy goodies that I'm going to be unpacking for you. In the alternate time on that, I have spent a little bit of time and want to say welcome to the podcast community listening to... Brene Brown's new podcast, Unlocking Us. It has been a nice little calm down, deep breath in and out journey. I've enjoyed that a lot, as well as, oh, all the documents that are open on my computer right now. It is trash candy web deliciousness, and I couldn't be more delighted. Yeah, we've been coping different. I've been watching Star Trek, (laughs) and you've been writing (laughs) I've also been baking bread. I mean, I, I, I do stuff. Every, everybody's got their something, babe. It's cool. What's coming up? 
we have a new season starting next week. We do. And while this is a great time to perfect your sourdough recipe, catch up on old episodes, get some Patreon trash candy too. Next Sunday, April 5th, we are going to be back with a brand new season. Because now we're living in a land with no rules. We made tacos for breakfast the other day. There are no rules. So we have a little something fun up our sleeves coming at you for season six. Technically, they're not up our sleeves. They're in our kitty mugs. What are we going to do? Explain this to me. So we have had so many fantastic submissions from our listeners. Whether they come in through social media, we get emails. We have taken the submissions that we have received from listeners that appeal to us. And you have written the 12 you want to do in this season. Mm -hmm. And I have written the 12 I want to do in this season. And we both have individual cups, little mugs, cat mugs, with little slips of paper. And every week at the end of the episode, we're going to draw a name. And those are the two divorces we're doing for the following week. But we're not going to tell you... The name? Is that right? We're not... No, we're just going to give a little hint. Oh. Okay. We're just going to give a little hint. All right. So you have your mug. Do you want to go first? Yeah, here's my mug. Okay. okay. I'm not going to look at it yet until you draw yours and, and look at yours. Oh. So you... Oh. Yeah. Go go to your mug. All right. Draw yours. Going going to my mug. Okay. And let's get, let's get first reaction of who you have. Okay. You ready? I don't know. Look at yours. Oh, oh, who do you have? Do you want to see mine? Here, it's like 14 so, cookies. Okay, so we're not supposed to say the name. We No, don't say the name okay, of who you have, but a give hint. a, give a, give a clue. Um, Encyclopedia Brown, give uh, a clue. Uh, mine is a nice podcast ruined. Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's a good clue. <laughs> All right, yours. Oh, uh, let's see. My divorce profile Share something <laughs> in common with Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. Okay. So the divorce is from a woman named Robin? <laughs> <laughs> it don't make sense when you get it. So those, I'm so excited about Your this. Your subject's best friend is named Marshall Barney. <laughs> we hear that we might switch it up a little bit. Do something a little bit more fun for this season. Since we're living in a land with no rules, but stay safe and well and wash your hands and yeah. watch out for others and find your community and love them. Those, yeah. Those are our new rules now. Yeah. Jump on our Facebook group if that's your thing. Track us down on Twitter. Or Twitter or Insta. Mm -hmm. We're doing all the things. Yeah. Free trash candy. We're we're pretty online people. I don't, not everybody is, but we're pretty online people, so. Let us hear from you. What are you doing to pass the time? We did a fun thing this week on Patreon, everybody. We did our top three best albums, perfect albums, start to finish, which was really fun. And then everybody chimed in on their top albums. We've had a lot of fun this week. And if you're quarantining with others, let us know like what you've learned about people that maybe you thought you knew very well, but you were actually spending plenty of time apart, and now you're not. What have you learned about your pets? What have you learned about your toddlers? I already knew that Emin was a snitch baby. <laughs> this is nothing new. I just didn't know he had been appointed to head of HR. Well, he's so self-appointed. That is new. Assistant to the regional manager. Jeez, Lord. <laughs> Holy cats. So if you want to connect with some like-minded trash pandas, you can do that on a variety of social streams. Mm -hmm. Again, Free trash candy. Yeah, go listen to the free stuff. Go check that out. Thank you, all of you, for all you do and your love and support. And I hope that you feel it right back from us. We can't wait to return next Sunday with this is going to be a hella episode. Yeah, I think so. Until we talk to you then. Yep. Take care, everybody. Keep it trashy. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Trash Pandas, thanks for listening. Trashy Divorces is written and produced by us, Stacy and Alicia, for Hemlock Creatives. You can contact us at trashydivorces at gmail.com. Our art is by Sydney V. Smith. 
Sydney V. Smith at CarbonMade.com. And our music is used with permission of Ratsy. You can find her at Ratsy's store on Instagram. Big thanks to our Season 5 associate producer, Melanie Z. Check out episode sources, photos, soundtracks, merch store, and more at TrashyDivorces.com. Need more trash candy? Our Patreon community includes some of the bestest humans around, as well as a bunch of bonus content every week. Join the fun at patreon.com slash trashy divorces. Last but not least, come play with us on social. We are at trashy divorces at Instagram, which Alicia mostly runs. Twitter, which Stacy mostly runs. And on Facebook, which, which we, we split. split. <laughs> we also have a trashy divorces discussion group on Facebook. If you want to chat with other trashy divorces listeners. Thanks again for listening. Keep, Keep it, it trashy, trashy y'all. <laughs>